Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is so exciting. I have given in to the motion trend and I have transferred my entire life onto the app. Notion is an organization system, storage system, categorization system for literally anything you want to use it for. So for me, I use it to organize my dissertation mainly, um, my university deadlines, and also some of my life stuff. So if you want to know how I use Notion as a student and also to help me with my dissertation, keep on watching. So welcome to my Notion. Uh, right now you can see my screen and this is my home page for my life, Jerome's life, if that isn't self-explanatory enough. Um, and as you can see, you can customise your page. And whilst this is not a Notion tutorial, nor is it sponsored by Notion, though that would be lovely if you're watching this, <laughs> um, this, um, yeah, I'm just going to give you a tour of how I use Notion as a student and especially for my dissertation. Um, so here is my hub and this is my setup. It's pretty simple. And what I have here is my to-do list, um, which is pretty bare at the moment, um, but also like my life hub, so life goals, 2020 intentions, monthly reviews, um, travel plans, which I have none because, you know, lockdown, um, career, so my dream career, career plans, things like that, my network, which you can see is also over here. And then you have my university hub, which is where we're going to be focusing most of today's video. Um, so down here, I really encourage all of my clients, uh, my life coaching clients, to get clear in their core values. So this is something that I have right here to remind me of who I am, what's important to me, and how I want to live my life. And also my gratitude list. So I have um, this toggle that I can toggle and open and add what I'm grateful for. So, for example. Today I'm grateful for um, having great conversations with my friends and also having a good dissertation to go as And so when I'm done, I can toggle it back up. And what is great about Notion is that there are tons of shortcuts. Like you saw me doing there, um, you can actually press the slash key and so many blocks will come up, so many options will come up and you will learn your favourite shortcuts. So for me, I always use bullet point, which is forward slash bullet, um, or you can forward slash um, heading, so heading one, heading two, heading three, or colours, you know, any of these colours. But anyway, this isn't a tutorial, so let's move on. <laughs> um, and then I also have my reading list because I want to read more. I don't read enough, and these are the books that I'm reading at the moment, and one that I want to read. So where we'll be focusing right now is on university and my dissertation. So let's hop on to my university hub, which you can see at the side, but also I have my dissertation here. So let's go to university. So all my pages have a cloud image at the top because I just love how dreamy it is, it calms me down, you know, it's very aesthetic, all of that. I also love how you can add an emoji or an icon um, so you can personalise it and make it look cute. But basically in my university hub you have all of my modules, these are my modules for semester one um, and when semester one is done I'm just going to move it all to my uni archive so there's nothing there at the moment because there's nothing to archive. My grade calculator, you know, there's a quick link to career and dissertation and stuff so how you can link to different pages is you type at and then you can write the page so for example network or budget you know whatever you want and then I have my table of final assignments for semester one um, it is amazing because you can filter different things so you can filter it to see the status if you want to see everything that's not started you can pick this and as you can see, you can see all the ones that I've not started, or if you want to see the ones that you are planning, you can change it to planning. You can see all the ones that you, you're planning, um, which is amazing, I think. But the main thing that I wanted to show you today is my dissertation hub. And this is where I'm basically planning my entire dissertation. And here you can see another cloud background, um, my research question. So I'm always reminded of my research question and what I'm focusing on, which is how the second generation British East Asian youth come to view their bicultural identity. And here is all the things that I'm working on right now, which are the most important that I always reach for. So the tutorial sessions, which contain all of my notes for the sessions. And you can also see what I've logged in my supervision record and also the main action tasks. Um, and then I go back to my dissertation hub and also this is where 
I keep my literature review stuff, so literature done, so literally like all the literature that I've initially looked at. And then you can go into my research hub. Here is my research hub. Obviously, I'm going to cover these names because these are my research participants. Um, and you can see that I also have a table database of their age, whether they have signed my info form, consent form, the date of interview, contact um, tags, and whether they've confirmed the interview or I still need to contact them. And then I have interviews. Obviously, I can't show you them. I've made templates for all of them. So in every single interview page, I have contact, date of interview, all of these standard information that I will need so I can have it right where I'm working. And the great thing about Notion is that you can make templates. So all of these things I have already pre-made, which is really, really helpful when I am doing pages that I will use over and over again. And I don't have to keep remaking the pages. And then I have my timeline, which isn't fully populated yet, but it shows you, you know, what I'm doing when. You can also have different views in your table. So you can see your view. So like not started, in progress, completed. You can also look at it in calendar view, which is useful when you have something that you want to see like in an overview. But for my timeline, I want to see it in um, timeline view. <laughs> and then down here, I have my dissertation checklist, which has every single component of my dissertation in and whether I have planned it, whether I've completed it, whether I've started it and it's just really useful to keep track of these things um, and once again you can see this in board view as well and actually when I open board view you can see that I'm looking at this in the sections but I want to see this by status so I go into settings and group by status instead of tags you see all the ones that I have yet to start and ones in progress but that is about it for my dissertation hub on Notion. But as you can see, it's gotten really dark, so I will hand you over to the outro. Thank you so much for watching my video, and hopefully this helped you to figure out where the Notion's right for you as a student, and maybe this also gave you some inspiration for your own Notion as well. So if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments, especially about dissertation or my course or anything like that, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!